Hello and welcome to Tiptop Lab. Today I'm going to show you a rather simple way of creating a basic graphic design of a ladybird sitting on a leaf, just like this one. This tutorial should be right for you if you're a beginner and would like to see how to create basic shapes, turn them to paths, add gradients and how to cut out shapes using difference or intersection from path menu. Also this is Inkscape version 0.48 I have custom view selected and fill and stroke and align and distribute opened already. So let me just put it on side. And to start I'm going to draw an oval. Change its color to green and remove its stroke. Press shift and click on this red little cross over here. Then click on path and select object to path. Now we want to click on the edit pass by notes tool and uh, select both top and bottom notes at the same time. Then over here we have uh, make selected notes corner button. Double click on this and then grab these two notes and move them down a little bit. Now because it's a little bit too symmetrical I want to move this node to the side and make it more rounder over here. So lift this handle up. That way our leaf will look like it has a little curve. Um, so with the Bezier tool I will draw a stem that runs through the center of the leaf. So that's basically a long, thin triangle. Grab the top node, bring it to the center, and drag this bit to the right. Move the left one to the middle as well. Be right over here, bring it a little bit down, move the handles down so this way it's rounder. And if you're happy with the shape of our stem, then change its color to green, remove its stroke, and make it darker. So let's decrease the lightness a little bit. This should be right now. Select the main green object and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Pick any color. Grab the right node and drag it to the center. You want to make sure that this shape edge is running alongside the stem. Then click on the main object again, create another duplicate, change its color, grab the left node, bring it to the center, should be right. Now shift select the second part, select green, then Click on the left one, create an edit gradient, click on the green side of the leaf and drag it to the center. If you select the first node and decrease its lightness, you will make it a little bit darker. Then the right one should be a little bit lighter. Same thing with the other one. Make this one darker and the other one brighter. Now I want to move this node a little bit up and that one here. This should look good. 
bring our stem to the top and make sure it runs through the middle of the leaf. Grab that node and move it to the center. Right, so let's select and group all together and click again and rotate it to the side. Then create another oval, make it red, then draw a simple rectangle and change its color. Now position it sort of so it covers the one third of the oval. And shift click on the other object and select path difference. Then edit path by nodes, drag this bit down, then select circle tool again and holding your control key draw a symmetrical circle, make it black, then position it on the left side and lower it to the bottom. It's going to be our ladybird's head. Maybe that's a little bit too big, a little bit smaller. Should be fine. Then duplicate the black circle um, by holding Ctrl D. Move it to the side, make it smaller and create another duplicate. One more time. Again, one more time. This one we can make bigger. This one as well. Now to cut out those bits that are sticking out here, we will um, use a difference from path menu. So click on the red shape, duplicate it, shift click on the spot, go to path. Sorry, we will use intersection. That way we will end up with the spot being cut out with the shape that was on top of it. So let's repeat that. Select the red shape, Ctrl D, shift click on the spot, click path and intersection. Now we will duplicate the red shape again, make it white and from the field select radial gradient. Double click and move the gradient to the upper right side of the ladybird's body. So that's our ref shine effect and um, I think we want to make it less visible so let's remove, sorry, decrease the opacity a little bit. Then repeat that um, with the head as well so Control D, turn it white, radial gradient. Actually, if you shift click on the handles and while holding control key, you will move it to the middle. You can correct its uh, size. I want to make it a little bit smaller. Move it there. Reduce opacity. Now, if you can see here, it over overlaps the red shape, so let's select it and lower it so it, um, it's exactly on top of the black shape, but below the red one. Next, we will select the Bezier tool, click on the left side of the red shape, then click on this side on the right and then 
slightly higher here again then finish back on the left side then edit path by nodes and we want to drag this path up same with this one as well if you select the nodes you can drag the handle up like that so what we want is uh, to create a gap between the ladybird's uh, elytras then over here let's just grab this bit and move it down so if you zoom in check that everything is in place then select this uh, shape and click on the black color remove the stroke then select Bezier tool and uh, create a simple line just with two clicks then release with the right click of the mouse grab this path and give it a little curve and go to stroke style and increase its value to let's say three maybe even bigger maybe four four should be right then select the round cup Control d to duplicate move it to the side click again to rotate rotate this one as well See if you're happy with the position. This should be alright. Now I will create the ladybird's legs using ellipse tool. So very thin ellipse. And make sure the opacity is 100%. And position this in the middle of the ladybird's body. Control D to duplicate, move it to the right, another duplicate, now shift click on other two legs and from align distribute select make horizontal gaps between objects equal. and double click on this oval and one more time rotate it a little bit same with this one that looks all right and shift click on all of them group together bring to the bottom and see if that needs any adjustment so this should be all right if you select all of it and group it together and make another duplicate so press ctrl d select black color then flip it um, vertically move it down while holding control key then um, squeeze this by half click again and then let's skew this to the left a little bit reduce its opacity by half and bring it to the bottom now select again and group all together and make our leaf bigger press control key let's actually make our ladybird smaller rotate position on the leaf where you like it and 
And there it is, our ladybird sitting on the leaf. Hope you like this video. Feel free to leave a comment or if you've got any questions, I'll be happy to help you. Also, please subscribe if you're interested in my upcoming tutorials. Also, you will find a guide with all steps to this tutorial in description. So, enjoy using Inkscape and have a good day. Thank you.